Hey guys, SR here with another update on Mega Man 11. So, once again, a new trailer has dropped, the TGS 2018 trailer in particular, which revealed, at long last, Tundra Man and Acid Man, two robot masters for one trailer. A big shout out and pat on the back for the person that created this prediction image, because oh boy, he or she got all the robot master names correct, 100%. Good job. There's also a Capcom Unity blog post and some other good stuff on the website. Usually this would be the part where I would read the blog post, but uh, to be honest with you guys, I've had Mega Man 11 in my hands for a couple days now, so I was already well aware of this information before it came out. Of course, I can't talk about too much beyond what they reveal here because of embargo reasons, but there you go. There's your full disclosure. So I decided instead of reading the blog post word for word, we're just going to look through the screenshots here and I'm going to talk about Tundra Man's stage off my memory, which is pretty fresh, let me tell you. Let's begin with Tundra Man himself, and we have an intro video to play, so I'll play that for you guys right now. You want to dance? Feel free! Don't freeze up! Cross this! Perfection! Right there, it's showtime! Yeah! So right off the bat, Tundra Man himself, he's pretty fabulous, man. He's definitely an ice skater. He has a ponytail, for goodness sake. That is so stylish. And his voice fits him perfectly. Oh, man, dude. But yeah, basically Tundra Man, he's a performer. You can even see spotlights when he enters the stage. It's a really nice touch. Tundra Man definitely has a lot of personality going on. He might actually be my favorite robot master so far. His attacks mainly involve skating to one side or the other in very, very stylish fashion. He can also activate the speed gear, which they did reveal that he does have the speed gear. And he pretty much just zips across the room, basically. This is also when you see him use his signature move, the Tundra Storm. As for Tundra Man's stage itself, it's pretty much your typical ice level with ice physics and snow and all that good stuff. And there are moments where those ice physics can and will get you sliding right into a bed of spikes, so you have to tread carefully. Another interesting thing aesthetically about the stage is that there is a lot of prehistoric things in the background like dinosaur bones. According to the website, the stage is actually set in a museum, so that makes a lot of sense. Even the mini boss, as you can see here, is this mammoth skeleton robot riding a platform. Pretty much what it will do is it will create ice on the ceiling and then it will drop down and there will be these little platforms so you're going to have to jump on them. However, the mammoth will then blow a blast of wind at you to try to knock you off the platforms. So you're going to have to be very careful to stay on. And then the mammoth will charge at you. You got to jump over that. And then it will come back and you got to slide under it. And then you shoot the eye. As you can see in the screenshot there, Mega Man is aiming for that platform. That's what you have to destroy to defeat the mini boss. As for enemies in the stage, we can see here that we have the Skullhammer guy back again. And actually in this stage, at least as far as we've seen in the coverage, he actually jumps as you go towards him, which is something that he doesn't normally do, so that's pretty interesting. You got those purple drone guys that can go through walls. Yeah, they're everywhere in the stage, and um, oh boy, <laughs> they are a little annoying. But they can be taken out. You can stun them to charge shot and then take them out. There's snow bunnies, and there's these little ice flakes with one eye. They're literally one-eyed monsters. There's a lot of those flakes, though, and they'll definitely get in your way, so you have to be constantly trying to clear them out as you clear the way for your path forward. Another gimmick of Tundra Man stage is when you get out in the open, there will be gaps that you have to jump over. But the catch is there will be wind either blowing behind you or blowing against you. You gotta take advantage of the wind to actually get to further places. They're actually really fun sections and they're one of the reasons why I think this stage would look really cool in a speed run. Tundra Man's weapon is the Tundra Storm. It's basically a vertical ice tornado attack. It's great for taking out enemies above or below you. And just a little tip, it can also take out some enemies really easily. However, this weapon gets even more insane when you activate the power gear. It basically becomes a screen nuke. Takes out everything on the screen. 
I don't believe they show what the Power Gear version looks like, but consider this a little Shadrock ZX exclusive, we've already seen it before. It's actually the Star Force screenshot. I'm not saying the special weapon itself is Star Force. No, as you can see in this screenshot here, the design is completely different. It's not Star Force related at all. That Star Force outfit with Omega Sis on his arm remains to be a mystery. But as you can see in the screenshot, it seems like they were using the costume maybe as a placeholder to try out weapons with, or it could just be a cosmetic costume that would replace Mega Man's look in all different special weapon forms. There's really no telling, really, if this will be DLC down the line or it is somewhere inside the game. I'm thinking DLC though. But yeah, in conclusion, Tundra Man's stage looks really cool and I'll tell you, it is pretty ice cold. And the Robot Master himself is so fabulous, dude. Now we move on to Acid Man here on the official website because they don't have a blog post for him yet. Basically, to describe Acid Man, if you saw the recent Mega Man Fully Charged episodes, he reminds me a lot of Chemistry Man in that series. It's not completely the same, but the voice and the design and stuff, it's pretty similar. Obviously, you can tell from his name, he is all about throwing acid at the player. His stage is literally filled with acid on the floor. And there will be these robots around with syringes on their heads and they can actually release acid. If the acid hits the pool of water, it will actually change color and it will damage Mega Man when he touches the green acid. It's not an instant kill, but it does damage him. This is also basically your underwater stage. There is some underwater physics, Mega Man jumps higher underwater and all that good stuff. And of course they have spikes everywhere too, as we see in this screenshot here. The mini boss though for this stage yeah, as you can see, it's pretty much this underwater machine thing, and it's a bit of a weird mini boss. It just basically goes around the room, and you gotta shoot it, and all that good stuff. It's pretty straightforward. Acid Man himself, he will create a bubble around him when you fight him, and he can also shoot out the acid. And the website does confirm, so I can talk about this, but he does use the speed gear as well. And pretty much what happens when you use the speed gear is he becomes like this pool of acid and he just zips along left and right, kind of like Tundra Man does. But he gets crazy when he uses the speed gear. I can't wait to see how you guys deal with that when you get the game. As for Acid Man's weapon itself, this one is actually pretty cool. What it does is when you use it once, it creates a corrosive shield around you to protect you from attacks. But not all attacks, actually the regular shield, just the standard shield, it actually doesn't protect you that much I find, but if you use the power gear as it says in the website here, it can protect you from enemy shots and even missile attacks. And you can see in the footage that's playing that the shield actually does reflect attacks. It is pretty darn good for a shield weapon. It might not be junk shield or jewel shield amazing because there is a time limit to how long it's active, but it is a pretty good shield weapon, probably the third best one. In addition to the shield that you activate, Mega Man can also fire acid shots out that kind of arc upwards and it can shoot three at a time. It's a pretty basic shot, but it does damage some things, so eh, there you go. The shield is the main attraction though. So yeah, that's pretty much it though for Tundra Man and Acid Man. I can't say much more about these guys other than what's here on the website and the blog post again, but that should give you a good idea of what these stages are all about. There's one more announcement coming out of TGS 2018, and that is Nero from Demo May Cry 5 is getting equipped with the Mega Buster. No, really, he really is. It will be a part of the Deluxe Edition where you can use the Mega Buster Devil Breaker weapon and it's pretty much the same as the Mega Man 11 version even with the same animations and sound effects. Pull my Devil Trigger? More like pew 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 charge my Mega Buster. One more thing, the Rock Band 11 original soundtrack cover art has been revealed and man is it looking nice and wholesome. Let me tell you, Mega Man 11 in general, all the artwork is just so wholesome dude. It really warms up the heart. And it turns out that just like Mega Man 9 and 10, the Mega Man 11 original soundtrack will also feature a original vocal theme sung by Ayaka Fukuhara, the voice of Rockman. Can't wait to hear it. Alright, that's all I could talk about for Mega Man 11 for right now. But guys, I am starting my review process. It's happening. What are some questions that you want me to answer in the future for Mega Man 11? What do you really want to know? Let me know in the comment section below and I should be able to answer questions on October 1st. That will also be the day that my review is going up and you'll know all about my final thoughts on this game. 
So thank you so much for watching and for more on Mega Man 11 including the review and a lot of coverage, stay tuned to Shadowrock CX. Until next time, rock on. And if you excuse me, I'm gonna get back to playing Mega Man 11. And I'll leave you with the voice samples for Acid Man and Tundra Man. Trying to take my spotlight? You want to dance? Feel freeze. Bitter, heartless, gorgeous, ice! Bokuno stage ni yokoso. Kare ni, yuga ni, gorgeous ni, kore! Mise te ageru yo. Kori tsukumade! Welcome to my chemical paradise! Time for an experiment! Sizzling speed! Ore no ugoki ni tsuita goreru ka! Yokoso wa ga kenkyu plant e. Jikken kaishi da!